really bloody simple things like if I just listened to my mum and my nan, I would have known. Be you know, like people like you cannot do this stuff in numerous ways, in a very esoteric, erudite way. Oh well, we're all interconnected spiritually. We're all one. Our consciousness is unifiable. If we can overcome the idea of materialism and individualism, we can just say, just be fucking nice to each other. We've all got the same fears. We've all, we're all looking for the same solutions. We're all going to fucking die. And like they're really sort of like one of the causes I've been very affected by at the moment is the New Era State in Hoxton. Are anyone here from the New Era State? Right, but go on. They're right pricks. <laughs> they're here, they're here. The new era of state in Hoxton was uh, the, uh, the residents were given housing at social rates, you know, affordable rates, okay? And they invested in, even though they were just renting their houses, they whacked loads of money in, paying for their kitchens, putting in central heating. Then Hoxton became all trendy and fashionable, and I've contributed to that process with my haircut, right? <laughs> and what happened is, is a private development company set up by a, a man called Edward Bennion, who is the brother of the richest Tory MP in this country, Richard Bennion, along with a private development firm called Westbrook, bought their property, initially assuring the residents of the New Era estate, in which 92 families live, that their rents would stay the same. Now, I bet a lot of you live in London, and you'll know that it's fucking expensive to live in London, and rents are getting higher and higher, and socially affordable housing is becoming more and more of an issue. Many of you may have been inspired by the mums of the Carpenter estate recently and their protest. Are you aware of that? <laughs> These are important examples, because they're examples of people taking control of their own lives, as the families on the New Era estate currently are. They're organising to demand that they keep their homes, homes that they've invested in, that the only system and the only rules aren't the rules that are imposed upon us from above. Because what will happen is Westbrook and Benyon will say, well, we fucking paid for that estate. We can raise the rents to market rates. If they want to stay, they'll have to pay fucking market rates. And there's sort of nothing, we feel, oh no, there's nothing we can do about that argument. But guess what? The rents that the families who live there are paying currently already generate a profit for that company. They're already making a profit. So that it's pure greed, unadulterated greed. Now we find this greed on an individual level. I can never have enough sexy jewelry or enough, enough ripped fucking jeans. And we find it on a cultural level. This aspect, thanks man, Jesus, that just happened, that was amazing. <laughs> and we find, like, you know, these, what's happened is we live in a culture that celebrates and rewards these values. And I feel personally that I got distracted. I got spellbound. I got caught up in it. And it's only when I spend time with fucking people that are living lives where they're affected by these issues that I think, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? You can't make yourself happy buying stuff. Fucking people. It doesn't work long term. We all know it's brilliant for a moment. Of course it is. Of course it is. Particularly if you've got the moves, right? I'm undercutting it with a joke. Why wouldn't I? But, the, the, but like, you know, when you sort of walk past an Apple store and you see that people have made a pilgrimage there, that people have laid out cardboard to wait outside an Apple store, don't you think something's fucking missing? We're missing a story. Because I've got a fucking iPhone, I'm not buying that six one, they took, took the piss too much now, they've changed the chargers too many times. But like, I still think, I still think I can solve my problem if I have the right phone, I can solve my problem if I have the right shoes or the right girl or if people care about me. I still think that and I'm bombarded with that message. I'm bombarded with that message on X Factor, Big Brother, night commercials, iPhone commercials. Where are the other messages? It's for us to generate it. We've become tyrannised by a vacuous, saccharine coated culture and unless we take it back, this will continue until we have become enslaved until we have nothing. People like, you know, first of all, we like, oh, we can tolerate homelessness, which is an hideous, insidious blight on our society, but we just think, oh, it's okay, like, these people are just scattered about like fallen fucking leaves. Then ordinary working people can't afford to pay for their homes. Then more and more and more and more, they take more from us. But it's not just the economic argument, it's the argument of alienation, that we're becoming disconnected from ourselves, disconnected from our planet, disconnected from each other, disconnected from our own divine, beautiful nature. A human being is a magnificent thing. We can create new realms. We can change the world. Don't let people tell you that by fucking X in a box, pick it between Miliband or Cameron or Clegg or whoever else that you can make a difference. They can't make a difference because they don't want to make a difference. The system is working for them. People who tell you the system works, work for the system. For them it isn't flawed. For Exxon, for Halliburton, this is the system they need. 
but we can change it instantly with our own inner revolution. All I can do is talk quickly with a quite a nice vocabulary, I can do that, can't I? But all of us together are an irresistible force. They know that. And they work very hard through military means, through media means, through deception and lies and alienation. By turning us into passive, spellbound little consumers, they can keep us disconnected and distracted. But not for long, because we are awakening. Whether it's peculiar girls in masks, or football playing kids for Rainbow FC, or these young debating people, or you as an individual, now, in this moment, girl with too many questions, we are awakening. We are awakening and we are irresistible. Revolution is inevitable. Thank you.